Please explain how the high rate of unemployed men in Jamaica disrupts the family structure. Why? You know, Jamaica have... When I tell them, I say about 90% of the youths who are unemployed and things. But it's not... Some it's so hard to understand because the reality is that if people are not employed, they're not generating a certain amount of income. Remember that they can't eat money, do you know? It's just that money has certain functions. And so the function of money will allow them to buy certain things that they cannot provide for themselves. And you have high levels of unemployment, and you have high levels of unemployment, especially amongst, amongst women. And why is that a concern? When you look at the data from Staten, the data from Staten suggests that the poorest, what I'm called quintile, they divide the country into five areas. The poorest quintile, which is quintile five, tend to be households headed by women with, more, with about four children in rural communities. Rural communities have the highest incidence of poverty, but just the greatest abundance of natural, unused resources that can generate wealth. The, the family structure with the highest level of income and the smallest amount of members in the family tend to be quintile one. Those are either male-headed households or households headed by a man and woman and one child. That's quintile one. And they tend to be prevalent most in urban communities, in the urban areas. So know then, the highest incidence of poverty affects women. But these women are usually what? Unemployed. So there you find the answer to your question. Because when you have a high level of unemployment and you have children to feed, this is what happens. That's why enough of them end up being in nefarious activities. And they say, I try to eat a food. I'm going to use the means that we get because I remember, you know. You know, so as a youth, when I just left judges, I'm telling myself, so what you know, I'm not run going to no school thing. I take a, some time off from school, you know. I'm there for a while and my mother said, what you know, you must go to A, B, C, D, E. And she actually sent an application to a place for I to get a work. But she couldn't put her address on it. It's a different address she put on it. Because the jungle I grow. And you know, so I got the place the first day, I got to work there. I got there, there was a kind of industrial vibe that go on. The people that demonstrate. I'm going to find the man who was the director. So I just got there now, you know. I mean, I did the interview and I got through the work and I got there up on the first day. And then I have the demonstration, the lockdown. And I said, the man who was the executive director decided to walk into the building, even though the people might demonstrate. But he never know, say, I know, I just come from all. School and in you know, our head, I tell you, it's beer, Bob Marley music, flow by head, I talk about certain. But just lock the whole place, everybody lock the man in that building, man. Get some steel and lock him up inside of the place. I say, you can't be doing that. You can't do that because you can't have the people man, demonstrate for more pay and trade the director now you gone inside of the place. You know, it's fire, man. I never used to come cut off the steel off of the, yeah, off of the workplace. But I'm saying, we create unnecessary suffering. And the people. Them. And with the highs of unemployment, which is usually amongst the poorest people, it becomes more difficult. And it has so many negative multiplier effects. And you know what the biggest problem with all of that? None of those people, none of those youths that you see out there involving all kinds of foolishness or what I call foolishness, sit on any boards that make decisions that act, affect their lives in the way it affects them. None. And so people like myself know. We have some organization that will sit and criticize those youths. Not recognizing or accepting the reality that it's our decisions based on cause and effect that cause that reality. And it's what happened now. Even though them feel them up, they're not free. Because I'm going to tell you, these people who make these decisions when you go to their yard, they have more burglar bar in them yard than on a GP. They live in a virtual prison. They come out of one prison which is in them yard. With uh, some king alarm and some other alarm, you don't even need because nobody ever broke your place. Your vehicle, windows always wound up and it, it bolt. Lock. They leave. I go to our workplace. We have a security guard. You have a big gate, a security guard, and then a number of other barriers. So you tell me, say he's a free person. You know, he's a free person. You live in a, an, an imprisoned space where you're free to walk about in that prison space. You're not free if you just go slung on the road and do what you want to do. So it's an illusion. So in reality, when we do the things that make it hard for other people, based on this of cause and effect, it also makes it hard for us as well. Because you cannot live as all. Well. You know you're supposed to live. And the only reason is happening because some of the men them just excessively greedy. There's no shortage of money in Jamaica. 
There's no shortage of anything that we need in Jamaica. So why is that? Some people suffer. And Jamaica is one of the greatest variants between the rich and the poor, you know. In terms of who have income and who do have income. But one thing for sure is a lot of money in Jamaica. Because you do not get a lot of investors coming into a country where you're not going to make any money. So why ask my Jamaican leaving Jamaica to try to make a money? The place with the highest incidence of violence, them claim, was Mobi. And you want to go and look and check that we have the highest incidence of investment in business. If it's not the same movie. Yeah, you see them have it as the number one city. Yes, I. Alright. So check it. And check the amount of violence on our St. James. So you man them create some different different worlds for you. It's wickedness, man. Well, let me hear you say, man.